Welcome to the second mini lesson, segment edition postulate. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at a specific example out of the book. This is page 32, number 18. And what we have here is we have RS is equal to 3x plus 1, ST is equal to 1 half x plus 3, and then RT is equal to 18. Now the key part of this problem is just right up here where it says suppose S is between R and T. S has to be between it, that means it lays on the same line or segment. So let's go ahead and label. Labeling is critical. There's R and there's T. S could be anywhere along here. I don't care where I put it. I'll very often not put it in the middle because then it could create an illusion that it's a midpoint. This is not a midpoint. Okay, so let's go ahead and do 3x plus 1. Fill out our labeling. And we have 1x, 1 half x plus 3 over here. And this whole thing is 18. So all we're going to do in segment addition postulate is this part plus this part equals the whole thing. So yes, we add this plus that equal sign to 18. Let's go ahead and do that. 3x plus 1 plus 1 half x plus 3 is equal to 18. We're back in algebra. Let's go ahead and combine like terms. That's a 3 and that's a 1 half, so that gives me, I'm going to go ahead and use decimals, 3.5x. And that's a 1 and that's a 3, so that gives me plus 4 is equal to 18. My pen does bleed over sometimes, so I'm still getting used to this thing. So get rid of the 4, so that gives me, we subtract 4 on both sides. Subtract 4, subtract 4. I'll go ahead and work over here. That gives me 35 x is equal to 14. This is a little bit harder to do mental math. One way I think about it is what times 3.5 will give me 14? Um, it's going to be 4 and it's 4 times 3 is 12 and then half of 4 is 2 so that gives me 14. But if you have any doubts you are more than welcome to use the calculator and I've already got it set up for you. So all I have to do is just hit execute and I get 4. So there we have 4. Let's get that out of the way. And we are done. x is equal to 4. That is our algebra answer. And that is all it's asking. It says solve for each variable. So we have our algebra answer. If they wanted a geometry answer, we would have plugged it back in.